tell me this, guys. What is the eighth wonder of the world? That's right, the most perfect bay in the world until now. Quasa, or Typhoon Quasa. The nine gimmick bay. That's right, guys. I am entering the King B Quasa tournament thing or contest, I guess. And that's not the question here. The real question is can Quasa be the Quasa killer itself? Blood server. So, guys, this is the bay, the Quasa Killer. Now, this bay has no metal on it. And I know you're probably like, well, that's instantly a shutout. But this bay is pretty heavy. I do not have ways for it or whatever, but it's heavier than most of my god bays. So here is the um, searcher chip, blood ring. Now the blood ring has the gimmick of being dual spin, just like Quasa. It can spin right, which gives it more. I would say it gives it more smash attacks, but it's kind of like a death scyther bay on right spin, which it has one good like super hard attack point. Then the, then the other point just builds up to that big attack. On left spin, is more of a... I will say it's, it's more of a Devilos type situation. Where the bay does not have serious upper attacks. But it is very good at upper attacks. Or its shape doesn't look good for upper attacks. But it really is. Which this bay is kind of round. Kind of sharp. Now this bay has no rubber on the layer sadly. But it does kind of have a weight changing gimmick. So as you can see, it's on its heavier mode right here. Because these two are paired up. But if I switch this over here, it would be on its more balanced mode. So yeah, I'm gonna suck. Next we have the upper disc. Here's the upper disc. And the reason why it's called the upper disc is that it has these dragon heads that shoot bays upwards as the spins. Do not mind the background. So basically this has a rubber band on it as you can see. So the bay has about four teeth. So you attach the rubber band onto the layer which is always supposed to be on there and then the bait becomes spring loaded so when it's on right spin it has serious upper attacks and if it hits the ground the upper attack well the spring on the layer would shoot and like the bay I explain this the bay would basically go berserk or it would like get right back on balance but yeah this also makes the um, the base spring loader or the layer spring loader, giving it that death scyther gimmick. Now this bay, this bay doesn't have as much many gimmicks as Quasa because I first tried to do a bay with ten gimmicks, but it was fragile, so I did I did this. So here we have the driver, which I don't have a name for. It. I'm just gonna make up a name right now, um, Chrome. So the Chrome driver, here it is. So basically it's a balance driver. Now it has a stamina mode and an attack mode. The attack mode makes the whole driver free spin. Wow. Well that was the stamina mode actually. While the attack mode makes this free makes the core part free spinning. And the entire driver free spinning. So yeah. And it attaches right here. But when it attaches onto a layer such as this, where the disc is very low, it does not have the free spinning ring gimmick. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention um, the um, upper disc. When it does, when it's on left mode, it has more smash attacks. So yeah, here's the how to build right here. Do you know?
Now we're in the stadium. Here's I'm just gonna keep calling him the Quasi Killer because it's so catchy. Here's Quasi Killer, or its actual name, Bloody Server. That's the nickname that I gave it because that's what's gonna happen if I get to win. So here's the uh, launcher on right spin. Help this. Just, just This is so stupid. Okay, I can't get it to focus, but it's on right spin. This launcher. Which is, so, as you can see, it's very balanced. I think it's on attack. Yep. As you can see, it's kind of aggressive, kind of not aggressive. I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys. So, um, Quasa, there he is. I said Quasa. Quasa Killer. Uh, I'm gonna call it Surger. 
So they're starting wars on my spin mode. Let's do left spin mode. And we actually want to see how long he can spin on left spin mode. So, yeah, that's it. We need to run this. Alright, it spun for about 28 29 seconds. That was on attack mode. Let's try it on stamina mode. 3 2 1 goes. It's fun for 29 seconds, which is less. So I guess it is having the same amount of time, but that's weird. So yeah, it spins for about 39 seconds, or 38, 39, whichever one you know. But I'm gonna go with the higher one just to make this base sound better. Um, so yeah, um, the base I'm gonna be battling up against is Dynamite Belial. Um, let's do some smart base. Let's do hollow depths out there. So these two bays. So I don't know how it's gonna react with depths out there. I know what's gonna happen to Belly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow's video. Just a little sneak peek. Boom. I'll let you guess with that. That's the one. So yeah. So Quasa. I keep on saying Quasa. Well, I guess Quasa better be ready because this pay is going to crush you. So, yeah. Quasa Killer is on attack mode. Um, Starter is on attack mode. Um, right spin. Yeah, right spin. Which is going shoot. Right. Lolo is on I knew it was going to burst. I'm counting that as a burst. Oh my gosh. My belly will just does not have good teeth, so I can't really count that. So I'm gonna have rage in there. Rage, rage is a battle. Actually, let's do that one right now. Left up against left. So Surter up against Longinus. Bloody Long. I'm just like, oh, let's play on stamina mode. Man, let's keep on attacking. Whoa! Wow, oh my gosh, raging upper in action. That, that was such a sick battle. Let's do, let's do one more with these two. Let's do it on stamina right spin. I'm starting on stamina right spin, and then we're going to do death scyther, and then we're going to close it out. So, what's up, guys? So, the bay is now on, oh, I said left stamina. Right. Yeah. No, I said right, right stamina, yeah. Deals just on left spin attack, so yeah, let's do like right stamina. Just make sure this bay doesn't break. This bay really does not break off. And it really hasn't been loose. I guess you could say it's, it, it, it blocks the longest. Oh, okay, I'm gonna count that as a win for my bay because the longest like flipped over. So yeah. I'm trying to make this bay seem more powerful. Alright, we got the last bay, which is Hollow Death Sight Through. We're gonna do this bay last on uh, left spin stamina since we didn't really see much of that. So, yeah. Three launch bays. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Alright, the bay didn't get off soon enough. Because, like, most, like, all of it's spin or stamina, I guess. Alright, boom, good launch. Ooh! Jeez, Death Scyther would have good attack. So, Death Scyther won that. So, see, now, I don't want to say, like, oh, this bay is good, but, like, Lauren choose it. Like, just choose it. Like, this is the best bay I'm drinking. But I'm not gonna say that because this bay did just lose twice. Three times? No, twice. Yeah, twice. So I don't really feel obligated to say it's the best bay ever. But it's better than Quasa. Also, Lauren, if you wanna know how I launched this bay, 
Lego tire, Lego 2x2, two two, then a Lego 2x1 tile, and a Lego 2x1 stud with studs or plate. And then it's like this blue. <laughs> and then I put it on right here. And basically it stays on because of the, um, the point thing. So yeah, and it works out pretty good. Just make sure the bay either has like two points to connect or three. I would say two because this bay is very solid. But if your bay, the version of you make of this, because this is kind of not a thing. But if you make the version of this, make it and, and, and your pieces are kind of worn out, make it have three or even four if you want to. I mean, it's a closet killer, and I feel like you should be able to test it since I'm coming up with you. So with that being said, this is Breaker. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.